Smooth for Tucson, live at 10. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Nick Vinzan. And I'm Aliyah Shahid. As Red for Ed moves into its second year, teachers across Arizona say their work is far from over. Thousands of people are continuing to rally for better funding for students and teachers. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink has more on how leaders of the movement are hoping state lawmakers recognize educators outside the classroom. Linda Archuleta joined dozens of colleagues on a street corner downtown this week for what education leaders call a reminder rally. Red for Ed! Red for Ed! Archuleta has spent the last 20 years as a guidance counselor and educational support professional who's not part of the 20 by 2020 plan. Governor Doug Ducey and lawmakers promise to give classroom teachers a 20% raise by 2020. It really bothers me because the cost of living keeps going up, but my heart is with the kids. Archuleta works here at Tucson's Roberts Naylor, where she says she is the only counselor for almost 600 kids. Their needs aren't being met. So if their social needs and their emotional needs aren't being met, then their academic needs can't be met either. Ducey's office tells us the governor proposed a new plan through a school safety grant to bring more than 200 new counselors to Arizona schools over the next two years. In a statement, the governor's office writes, quote, Governor Ducey recognizes the importance of student counselors and their invaluable role in our schools. That's why this year's budget includes $12 million to fund an additional 224 school counselors across the state. This is the first time in Arizona's history that a budget has included funds specifically for new counselors. This year's budget includes 637 million new dollars for K through 12 public schools. Archuleta says she'll continue to hold signs and go to rallies because she's committed to fighting for her kids. Why do you do this ultimately? Because I love what I do. I love my job. I feel like that was where this is what I'm supposed to be doing. But now it's harder and harder to do it and buy groceries and pay rent. In Midtown, I'm Eric Fink. News 4 Tucson.